Hello everyone, welcome to Davos Live. My name is Claudia, and if you haven't joined us before, we come on live Monday through Friday at noon and give you guys tutorials and first looks at the new app called Davos. If you haven't heard of Davos, we are a new animation app that makes it fun, fast, and easy for you to draw, animate, and share what you create with your friends. In the Instagram story, I asked you guys if you like Mario Kart or Donkey Kong better, and you guys said Mario Kart. So I started working on that Dotto for today. I'll show you a little bit of what I did, take suggestions on how to make it better, and at the end of the day, I'll throw it up in the Instagram story for you to see the finished product. Um, today is National Video day Gaming Day, so if you guys love a video game, shoot us a comment below, let us know what your favorite video game is, and then that way I can maybe make some more dolls based on those. Let us know what your favorite um, console is to play video games. Sorry, see, I don't know anything about this, but I'm willing to learn. So give me your input. I want to know what you guys think. If you start watching this tutorial and you think, oh my gosh, I need to make my own Mario battle right now, you can go to the link in our bio, fill out that form, and then you will receive access within about 40 hours in your email, giving you access to Donald's in beta right now. Um, if you have any issues signing up, shoot us a DM and let us know. And as always, you can feel free to ask me or Zev, who's on camera today, any questions during the live stream, and we will do our best to answer them. If you don't have any questions right now, we will get started. So this is the Mario that I've built so far. How can you get the app? You love digital art. Well, hello, Elias underscore Fleisch. Um, you can get the Doddles app by going to the link on our profile. Um, it should be a web link right underneath it the description. If you fill that out, um, ask for your first and last name, um, your email address, make sure that's the email address attached to your um, app or Play Store, whether you have Android or iOS, doesn't really matter. Um, make sure that email address is matched though. It asks for which kind of device you have and then it asks for your Instagram handle. After that, you will um, receive an email address within about two days getting you access to the app. Thanks for asking. Um, so this is the Mario that I have. We're going to push play. You can see that I just have Mario blinking right now. Maybe he's a little sleepy. It's Wednesday. But right now I just have Mario blinking. I wanted him to look kind of realistic. Um, so I'm going to continue to build on him by giving him the start of the suspenders. I can maybe have some bananas flying around in the background. Um, hi, Rika. Thanks for joining us. We love Rika. All right, so what I'm going to do to start building his suspenders is I um, click on the shapes tool down in our main menu bar down here, and I'm going to click on this blue. I'm going to make it more like a rectangle, and I can zoom and show you guys this. So I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it, and I try to do the best that I can so that it's a perfect rectangle. I'm actually going to make this side slanted a little bit so that it looks more like shoulders. And then I'm going to go over to the sliding bar on this menu over here and make it a little bit rounded. You can see right in this area, you can see the corners move in and out like that. I just want it a little bit more round. I'm going to shrink that down and direct that right over to where I want it. I'm going to make a copy of it first. So uh, make a copy of an item, you click on it, you want these little gray triangles to pop up with your options, and then you click on the three dots in the lower right hand corner. And then you push copy. With your copy, you select it, you want that again to move it, you click these three dots, and then you click flip horizontally if that's the way that you want it to flip. Now you can see that right now that's in front of Mario's face and that's not really what we want. So I'm going to put them where I want them. And then I'm going to click those three dots again and send them down. I still want them on top of the shirt though. So it's just down one layer because I have the entire head as a single layer that can move. All right. So then from there, I'm going to create another box. Make it that same blue. Make it a little bit wider. Drag that down. So it looks like the start of his suspenders. Like that. I'm going to try to match it up as best that I can. And actually it'll help if I make oh, the base of the box bigger. 
perfect. All right, and those suspenders probably latch with a little yellow, a little buckle, so we're just gonna use a little yellow circle for that. I will go back later and see if that's legit or not. I know I didn't play a lot of Mario as a kid, so I don't really remember what his overalls look like. But yeah, so then I would, I'm gonna add some real quick sleeves just so it looks like he has some arms. And I like to make the arms rounded so that they look a little more natural. So I made an oval and I'm gonna turn it. How long did it take you to make the Mario before we started? Uh, this took about, I wanna say 25 minutes. I built it all with shapes. The only thing I really drew were the eyebrows and I used the free shape tool. Um, I find that it's a lot cleaner for me. My hands are a little bit shaky and because I'm working on a phone, it is a smaller surface, but it's totally possible to draw things. I'll show you guys a doddle that I just drew um, the other day so you guys can see that it's possible to draw something. Um, but I like to use shapes. You guys know that I love shapes. I was really good at geometry when I was in high school. so. I like to build things with shapes so they're cleaner, so it has a little bit more of a graphic design look, but that's definitely more my style. I will make sure that I show you guys things that I've drawn. I have one in the app that you can use to draw and make things look detailed. We also have some up doddles on, on the pro and ones that are coming up that our intern Sienna has made. She has a very different style than I do, and she typically draws everything rather than using, um, rather than using shapes, so I will make sure that we put those up on the Instagram really soon so you guys can see that kind of style as well. So I'm pretty happy with that arm. I'm gonna send that all the way down. And I'm also gonna make a copy of it. You can see it popped up right there. I'm gonna bring that over here and flip it around. They love your jacket, Claudia. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are so sweet. All right, so that's the start of our Mario. He looks a little hefty, but I don't mind. So this is our Mario. What I might do is like, since he's blinking, is I would drag this all together as a whole. If you guys didn't see that, how I, I'm planning on grouping the item. So you take your finger or your stylus and drag all the way across all of your items. You'll see those little blue triangles come up and you click group. So then what I could do is now that I've got my item, I click the lightning bolts in the upper right hand corner and click move. And I can have him duck and then come back up. I'm gonna have a banana fly past his head, I think, on the story. But if you push play, it looks like he's blinking to duck from the banana and he comes back up. So that's our little Mario right now. Thank you guys for voting in the story for Mario. Um, I will also show you another one um, that Sienna made that's a Mario one. So you guys get to see two extra dollars today. One is drawn and you get to see one from Sienna that's a Mario. Um, based doddles. So you guys are in for a treat. I will show you my Thor doddle that I made. This one I drew everything um, and then I tried sending to the back. One thing I will tell you guys though is it's better to build with shapes first and then add the lines on top of it rather than building everything with the drawing tool and then adding shapes underneath. It does create a little bit of a a lag within our system. That's something that our developers are actively working on, but that's just a, a pro tip for you guys. Um, pro tip is use shapes first and then use the drawing tool second when building something super complex. Ooh. So this is a Thor that's been drawn. And then let me show you guys Sienna's doddle. So you can see Sienna's style is very different as far as like the way that she chose to draw Mario. Yay! That was good. I'll play that one one more time for you guys. Do you guys have a favorite version of Doddles? Hey, some of you guys have made Doddles for us. Welcome, Jatanji underscore K3. You didn't understand how to move all pieces together. So cool. Oh, awesome. I can explain a little bit of that for you guys if you would like. So we're gonna go back into my Mario. Bearing everything for you guys, showing you my entire gallery. Um, so I grouped this as a whole, and then I can ungroup it. So now everything is separate. And this head is grouped, but there's all these individual layers. So if I wanna move, let's say the M on Mario's head, I can drill in and click on that. And then it's still a part of the same group, but I can have this rotate a little bit, so.
So um, I did that. I'll show you again. If, if you click on the, the um, item as a whole that you've already grouped together, you can drill into it and go back in and select items that you've previously grouped. So let's say that you have, um, I can show you by regrouping this again. So you drag across all of it and group it. Now this will move as a whole. And I don't think it still has that um, ducking animation. No, it doesn't. So um, I can move, once this has been grouped, I can have him duck again, which will take just a second. Oh, that's so cute. Great, and then um, I can also drill into this character, click on an item, um, animate that. I'm just gonna have his arm rotate. That, we'll do that again. And then when you exit out of that, that green stack up there and you push this, you can see that his arm moves a little bit. Oh, you can't see it great now. It was too short of an animation that I made but you can make something move together as a whole and then go back and animate the individual parts. Hi, hi everyone, thanks for joining us. So that's um, the Mario that I made that's a little bit about drilling into characters. It kind of looks like a tornado in the upper left corner, um, but it's a drill, and if you drill in, click on this item, drill in again. Um, let's see, this is grouped. I could drill more into that. Um, sometimes it's hard to figure out which items to group in order to create the layer effects that you want. I have two, give you guys some secrets. I have two little um, semicircles down here that are the bottom eyelids. And then I have two larger circles that are the top that are hidden behind a layer of red up here. Um, and then those come by, even behind the eyebrows and you don't see them because they're the same color as the skin. And that's how you create the eyelids that um, open and shut. So if we watch that, they come down from behind the eyebrows go up behind these two layers of the, the head, and they go behind a layer of red so you never see them. So it's a little, it's a little tricky to figure out those layers, um, but test it, figure it out. There's the up and down buttons on that gray menu that pops up when you click the three dots in the lower right hand corner. You can play with those layers to get things to look how you want them to look. So don't be discouraged. It takes a lot of time and practice, and I'm still getting better at it every day. Um, do you guys have any questions for me about Mario? Anything that I did? Any questions that you guys have while you've been using the app? Because um, I know that it's not like traditional frame by frame. It's um, digital art, but it's new and it takes a little while to get used to. So you guys have questions about what does this button do? Or how do I do this? Or uh, when would I want to do this kind of thing? Feel free to ask me those questions. Shoot us a DM. Let me know and I can try to walk you through little intricate details so you guys can make the dabbles that you want to make. Um, also feel free to experiment with the different styles that you have within art. I'm always trying to push myself to try different styles of dabble. So sometimes I'll use all different transparency layers to see if I can create different patterns. I'll do the more graphic design look like I did with this Mario. Um, I'll do the drawing and um, I'm very good at like the very flat cartoony looking two-dimensional stuff but I would like to get better at the realistic looking things on digital art. So um, I challenge you guys to try out different styles and dabbles, find your own style, um, keep practicing, make it better. You know, it doesn't hurt to, to keep trying in that way. Um, do we have any questions? Uh, what do you, what's your favorite Mario game and what do you like about them? <laughs> um, I actually didn't play a lot of Mario. I think we played Mario Kart. I don't even know all of the versions, but I know that my friends and I would have sleepovers, we would stay up way too late, and we would um, go around those different tracks. I'm really bad at like video games, and I'm very competitive, and when I'm not good at things, I get frustrated, um, which is something I'm working on, but that's why I didn't play a lot of the Mario Brothers stuff. But I think, still think it's fun. Um, yeah. So I showed you guys Thor today, I showed you the Mario, I showed you Sienna's Mario. Um, be sure to check our Instagram story every day. Um, interact, vote on our polls, ask us questions. If we have that question box up there, we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear what you think. We want your feedback on the app. So positive or negative, tag us in it, shoot it to us in a DM. We want to know so we can keep building in the app in a way that you guys like or can make improvements that you guys are looking for. We do have new features. I am downloading the newest version. It's only for internal right now, but I'm downloading that newest version today 
and I get to practice with the new features that are scaling, visibility, color picking, exporting as a video, and I think there are a few other new features that are coming, you guys. Um, we're not going to release it to everyone just yet. We want to make sure that all the bugs are fixed before we get it in your hands, but it is so cool. It looks so awesome. You guys are going to be able to do so much more within Doddles. I'm really excited to see what you guys choose to make once you have those new features in your hand, but do not be discouraged. Use the tools, the move, the and the rotate that we have right now. Get used to the app, play around with it, understand how it works with the basics before you add those new things so that way you're not overwhelmed when you get all those new features. Do we have any last minute questions, Seth? Uh, nope. <laughs> You guys have been so great today. Thank you so much. Um, I will put this Doddle up in the Instagram story. If you guys want to share it with your friends, let us know and we'll shoot it to you in a DM. Um, post it on your walls. Tell your friends about Doddles. We would love to see what other people want to make. Um, we do have a last minute question from Gpo Origin. Um, they asked, please add one option to confirm exit. So maybe if there's like a bar that pops up, um, before exit so it's not a direct uh, command um, and so that's something that we can pass to our dev team. What do you mean by confirming exit? Whenever I hit back Doddles it just close or whenever I hit back Doddles just closes. So so you've done like a stroke or an animation you don't like it and you click the back button and then you say your entire app closes as a whole? I'm just asking for yeah. elaboration. Okay. That's definitely a bug that our developers need to know about. Um, shoot us a DM. Let us, I, I want to make sure that I keep track of your username. That way I can get information like what device you're using, Android versus iOS. It could be an iPhone 4 versus an iPhone X. Um, those are all little details that we need to know. You also need to know what build of the app that you're using. If you're using a 1.0.1 or um, an older build um, through test flight, all those little details are things we want to know so we can get the most information to our developers so they can figure out what's going on. So if you'll please shoot us a DM, um, whoever just asked us that question, and make sure that you give us all that information, and I'll pass that information along to our developers. Thank you, that's a really good, a good feedback for us to know, so thank you for sharing that with us. We wanna be fun, we wanna be energetic, but we also wanna be transparent with you guys. We wanna hear what you think, so thank you so much for sharing that with us. As always, please go to the link in our bio um, fill out that form, it's five easy questions, and then within about 48 hours, you will receive access to App and Beta, so you can start creating your own Mario Doddles, or video game related Doddles, or anything else that you choose to do. Um, thank you so much for joining our live stream, and we will be back again tomorrow at noon. I hope you have a good day. Bye!